after about a week of breastfeeding, I was definitely ready to give up too. And here's why. When Zoe started nursing at the hospital, she didn't have a good latch. She always wanted to latch and she always wanted to nurse, but she was only latching on the tip of my breast. So after a few days of that, my nipple started cracking, which hurt so bad that I literally was scared for her to wake up. Like when she would take a nap, I would be scared that someone would wake her up because I knew I would have to feed her again. And it was just like, I can't even describe the pain that I was in. So then I decided I would, I would try to let them heal. I mean, at this point she was about one week old and my nipples were just cracked to a point they were bleeding. It was really bad. So I decided I needed to let them heal if I was gonna continue. So I started pumping and putting cream on them. During the time I was pumping, I was giving her either the pumped milk after my nipples stopped bleeding. Um, because I didn't feel comfortable giving her like bloody milk. But I, would, I started giving her the pumped milk and formula but a new problem occurred the pump wasn't getting out nearly as much milk as she would which made my like i started getting clogged ducts and engorged that led to mastitis about the fourth day i noticed i had a red spot on my breast which was hot and hard like a rock and I, after I came out the shower, I was shaking and I had a really high fever. So Kevin called my OB right away. We told her my symptoms and she sent over antibiotics to the nearest pharmacy. I had to take antibiotics for like 13 days or something. I don't remember. But what helped that was every time I got in the shower, I would massage my breasts. I let massage in this direction and when I pumped. I massaged in the same direction. I also put warm cloths over the spots that were hard and after about a week of pumping and the antibiotics, my nipples completely healed. I actually didn't have lumps or anything anymore and I decided I was going to try breastfeeding her again. I was terrified. I thought that the second she lashed on, I was just going to bleed everywhere and I was traumatized at this point. But I did try again, and it wasn't painful at all. I mean, I guess since my nipples had a week to heal, it didn't hurt at all. And maybe it was because she was also a little bit bigger, and I did research a lot on how to get her whole mouth over my areola. I guess it worked because when I did latch her on, it didn't hurt. My nipples will still get a little sore here and there, but it wasn't nearly as bad as it was in the beginning. Another thing that's really hard in the beginning is that you have to like hold your breasts and hold her head and that hurts your back a lot. Unless you have like a rocking chair or something, which I didn't have in the beginning, that gets uncomfortable. I used the boppy, which worked so much. I mean, I don't know where I would have been without my boppy pillow, but it's still hard holding your breast and the baby is like you're stuck there for however long they're nursing however after about maybe three months i noticed how easy it was getting i mean i kind of thought it was like the cheat code of motherhood really i mean i didn't have to wake up to make bottles i didn't have to carry bottles around with me or formula anytime she would cry or for any reason she needed comforting the boob always worked and co-sleeping i mean i literally almost didn't even wake up out of my sleep to feed her so it does become so much easier now at some point i mean she's a few days from turning one year old and now it's like it just I don't even think about it. I just put her on there and she just nurses. Like, it's so easy now that I almost forgot how difficult it was in the beginning. And it it seems like just a little bit of time that it was hard for a long time of easy. So it, the good definitely outweighs the bad. And the benefits definitely outweigh the difficult beginning.
If you're having a hard time breastfeeding and it's something you really want to do, you need to educate yourself. I started reading so much on breastfeeding, which is something I should have probably done before I even started because it would have prevented the latching her on wrong, like letting her nurse at the tip of my breast, and that would have prevented everything else that came from that. Either way, it'll still be a little hard at first, but not as bad as getting cracked nipples and mastitis. But yeah, just a little education on what it is that's going wrong will help a lot. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> remember that no matter how hard you feel it is in the beginning the positives of breastfeeding do outweigh the negatives Pretty much all for this video if i didn't answer any questions that you thought i would answer just leave it in the comment below i hope you guys liked this video and i'll see you next time say bye Bye. 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 Bye.